Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you Game 5 now in the series between White Raw and Beastie Cutie. Game 5 taking place here on Antigua Shipyard should be a great series. And I believe the series is all tied up at two games apiece. And we'll see, um, we'll, we'll see how this particular game goes. Now, I'm trying to remember in a best of five series, how many games you need to win. You need to win five games. All right, so I'm not quite sure who has the lead because it has been f three days since I did cast the previous ones. But if you guys are watching this in order, um, hopefully... You guys are enjoying the games. We have White Raw spawning as the Red Protoss over here at what I'll call the 11 o'clock position of Antigua Shipyard. Meanwhile, Beastie Cutie spawning as the Blue Terran. Now, there have been some moments of brilliance in Beastie Cutie's play so far. But then again, Papa Protoss here, Grandpa Protoss, whatever you want to call him. A very, very strong Protoss player with very good fundamentals without really spamming a lot of high APM. Actually, nope, it looks like he is spamming a lot of APM so far. What is his effective APM? I wonder effective APM is currently what, 68 versus 107. So it is going back and forth there. Production tab, we can see a gateway now warping in. And are we going to be seeing that standard or no, this is not your, the typical Reaper build that a lot of Terran players have been going. This is your standard 13 gas. Now, the the benefit of the early, early refinery for that early Reaper is that you can scout out with that Reaper without having to use an SCV. Um, that's really, really important early on in the game as any time a worker is away, it is mining time lost. Oh, wow, what is this? Talk about bad building placement as Beastie Cutie actually built his barracks a little bit too high and now um, may decide to try and lift up and land and place that right there. Meanwhile, the probe is on its way out. Supply Depot will be added here to semi complete the front door most likely that barracks will be lifted off and what is the follow-up play going to be from beastie cutie so far white raw opening up with very fast double assimilators which to me um indicates stargate play white raw has been going very very heavy stargates relatively early we should be seeing perhaps a stalker come out here momentarily stalker very important um in order to deal with that early reaper as we now see a proxy factory coming in from Beastie Cutie. All right, a proxy factory. Don't know what quite to make of this here as we are now going into a tech lab back at home. We can see one Marine trying to shoo away that probe. The probe being extra cute, actually grabbing gold minerals instead. And what is this? White Raw with his spider sense tingling somehow knew to scout out this location. That is absolutely, absolutely clutch as the factory now spotted. What is that probe going to do besides get destroyed? And those minerals will pretty much be lost forever. Two Marines versus one Stalker. This is not going to be a good fight there. What's happening next as, oh, the Marines are going after the Stalker. The Stalker trying to finish off the SCV. Does it get the shot off? It can't hit the SCV. And the SCV, wow, stays alive because the Stalker couldn't click on it. And are we perhaps going to see a stutter step in? Factory now training. We can see another Stalker trying to be trained. <coughs> As the proxy Widow Mines will be making a move in. This is going to be rather dangerous. You can see additional Stargates now being added. And a great follow-up play still. Proxy Stargate, one of those, or Proxy Factory into Widow Mines to try and walk in a Widow Mine as the Marines now going after the probes. All right, the Stalkers being very careful to go after those units there. The Widow Mine has to be careful. It needs to perhaps duck into here and then burrow itself in the vents. That would actually be better. Oh, is it going to be able to burrow in time? Yes, it will. And now somehow the Stalkers are going to be able. Oh, 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 goodness. One shot, one kill. So much da damage there as we now see the factory taking a lot more damage once more. Perhaps sacrificing a probe instead of a stalker would have been the safe call as the Widow Mines 40 seconds before they rearm. All right, what is going to be happening next? Can it shoot down the Oracle before the Oracle comes up? Oh, that is huge. The Widow Mine now trying to w walk along the far side. And is it going to find it? That is the key, key question. Is the Widow Mine now going to burrow itself straight inside the mineral line? Oh, is it going to be enough? Oh, gosh. So close. 
And with that, Beastie Cutie unable to stop his opponent. Meanwhile, Marines back at home dealing with the Mothership Core. This Widow Mine is now going to reburrow. It's going to have the reveal, though. Yes, the Oracle is a detector. And with that, White Raw comes out pretty much unscathed. I believe that Widow Mine got a little bit overzealous trying to get into position there. And now that the factory is gone, what is the follow-up play going to be from Beastie Cutie? Beastie Cutie playing it very smart, following up and building up a starport back at home so that he would be able... Oh, Mothership Core is going to get taken out. Oh, the Mothership Core is very slow and down it goes. A huge, huge loss there as the Oracle now going to perhaps try and do a flyby. Supply depots are lowering themselves. You can see the reactor about to be completed and that Oracle not activating the Pulsar Beam as the Stalkers are going to be able to finish it off. Combat Shield now being added. Stim is already done and the Oracle going to offer sight up onto the high ground. The Marines and the Marauders are now making their way over though. No concussive shell. Mass Marines, one Marauder and double Metavacs to follow up. Beastie Cutie needs to deal a lot of damage with this attack. Absolutely no weapons upgrades though. As you can see, the battle is about to uh, go on here. Combat Shield, Marauders, Marines, Double Metavacs all being trained together. And once more, the Oracle going to try to do a quick fly in. This is not going to be good for the Oracle. It's going to get shot down in a second. There it goes. And Beastie Cutie now looking very, very strong here as it should be using those what afterburners and getting into combat. Beastie Cutie with a much larger army. And I don't believe White Raw was expecting this large of a of a marine marauder army with combat shield there's gonna be a small window of opportunity robotics bay now coming online no extended thermal lance research that is going to be perhaps the deciding factor not enough range as there are double medevacs these medevacs perhaps need to ignite afterburners and get there in a hurry once more and here we go are we just going to simply walk straight up inside the base yes we are here you go double medevacs marines and marauders stalkers are engaging and there you go trying to take down all those units it looks like a lot of units will get taken down the stalkers are not trying to back off mothership core gets taken down again not enough energy and with this white raw is in trouble white Ross says GG after a failed, after a failed, failed factory, um, excuse me, a failed factory proxy, White Raw able to come back over the top and win it. Wow. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not going to recap what the score in the series is. This is game five. Please stay tuned for game six.